Hey, welcome to the Morning Mix podcast. This morning we learned many folks have planned really fun events for their friends and family only to find out that nobody wanted to go in the first place. Ain't that fun? And much more coming your way right now on the Morning Mix podcast. You've worked all day, you're exhausted, you walk in the door, you set your keys down, and the first thing you hear is, uh, so what's for dinner? Well, there are two ways this can go. One, your mind goes totally blank. You go to the pantry and try to see if there's anything you can put together. Or, two, you just go, hold on a second, walk to the front door, grab your box from HelloFresh, open it up, and have every ingredient you need to make a dinner you didn't even know you could make. And there's plenty to choose from with over 40 weekly recipes that suit your family's lifestyle. And speaking of lifestyle, spend less time in the car going from grocery store to grocery store looking for all the perfect ingredients. When you get HelloFresh, you know you're getting the best produce since it travels from the farm to your door in less than seven days. In fact, we ordered one that had the freshest seafood and soup ideas, pasta ideas, things I would have never come up with on my own. So right now, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 Morning Mix and use code 50 Morning Mix for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's code 50 Morning Mix for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. HelloFresh. America's number one meal kit. You've worked all day, you're exhausted, you walk in the door, you set your keys down, and the first thing you hear is, uh, so what's for dinner? Well, there are two ways this can go. One, your mind goes totally blank. You go to the pantry and try to see if there's anything you can put together. Or, two, you just go, hold on a second, walk to the front door, grab your box from HelloFresh, open it up, and have every ingredient you need to make a dinner you didn't even know you could make. And there's plenty to choose from with over 40 weekly recipes that suit your family's lifestyle. And speaking of lifestyle, spend less time in the car going from grocery store to grocery store looking for all the perfect ingredients. When you get HelloFresh, you know you're getting the best produce since it travels from the farm to your door in less than seven days. In fact, we ordered one that had the freshest seafood and soup ideas, pasta ideas, things I would have never come up with on my own. So right now, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 Morning Mix and use code 50 Morning Mix for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's code 50 Morning Mix for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. HelloFresh. America's number one meal kit. A recent survey was done of Americans to reveal 49% have fantasized about someone else while getting busy with their partner. Mm. Like in the, in the middle of it. Okay, like, hey, you paying attention to me? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my sure. God, you're here? Crazy. <laughs> so who are you fantasizing about? But make it obscure. Text it to us at 312-233-1019. Trucker Greg coming in hot with the AT&T girl. Lily. Lily. Yeah. Lily from at and Fantastic. Yeah, I don't think show. he's alone, right? Yeah, no, top definitely show. not alone. I no. I feel like I haven't seen uh, any new commercials yeah. with her lately, though. She had gone away, and then and they then like she brought came her back. back. And then she was even, I think, featured even more. I think so, too. I think she directed the commercials herself, etc. Yeah. However, haven't seen her lately. Mm. What's she up to? 815, My Obscure Fantasy, the landlord lady from the movie Kingpin. Oh, gross. oh my God! Oh, that's so funny, Chris. Have you seen that movie? No. Oh, All you right. got to. Uh, you her set most... something loose, Tiger. Yes, that's God. it. Her <laughs> most famous line is, "What is it about good sex that makes me have to go number two? Got it. Okay. Yes. Hang on a second. <laughs> now You're we're really now we're talking. Something loose. That's right. Eight one five. My neighbor's wife. Okay. Oh, okay. Eight one five. Howie Long. <laughs> Oh. NFL commentator and former NFL player, right? Yeah, and right. I'm trying to think of what commercials he does. Yeah, he, he does some commercials. Sketchers yeah, was, or Yeah, something. Sketchers. He does Sketchers. He's yeah. cute. Wasn't he married to Terry Hatcher at some point? Did I make that up? They were on or commercials they were like together. I thought they were a couple. I don't they know. They might have been. Or yeah. it was like a pretend couple on a commercial. On a commercial? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like that. 708 Martha Stewart, Thirst Trap. Okay. Yeah, she's putting up all yeah. the photos. Jason Bateman, 224. I kind of get that. People mm-hmm. find Jason Bateman to be like very handsome and attractive, but they don't talk about him in that a salacious kind of way very often because he's funny yeah mm-hmm. 219 my doctor that oh. could be an uncomfortable appointment oh for sure or very enjoyable right 773 uh it's aaron Rodgers, and my husband does know lol that's okay. just weird yeah jason kelsey a15 that's the kelsey that plays for the eagles yeah he's kind of like Super Bowl the, uh, champ. the less known right. uh and kind of in my uh, humble view like less attractive looking kelsey you know yeah. he's a bigger yeah. lineman type guy Scott Conant from the Food Network. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hulk Hogan. Sure. Well, yeah, lots of mm-hmm. wives have agreed. Okay. Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> Finally, he's getting some respect. What? 815. What? Deep cut. <laughs> 630, my high school Spanish teacher. I'm 31 now, but still think back to my high school Spanish teacher. Mm. I kind of get that when you had a crush at a certain age and it just sticks with you for some reason. Totally. Let's see. 
Danica Patrick. Speaking of Aaron Rodgers at one point. Yeah, there you go. And finally, Timothy Oliphant, who's the guy that is not Josh Duhamel. Mm. They look okay. just like brothers. They're not. They're yeah. constantly confused. Timothy Oliphant on the Always, list. Yeah, always forget which one he is, but uh, I'll look him up. Yeah, he's the one. He's in the that Justified show. Timothy Oliphant. All right. Yes, I he like him in the, that. Yeah, he was the villain, and I think uh, Live Free or Die Hard. I think he was the villain in that. All right. Yeah, Tim, Tim, Timmy O, Timothy Oliphant. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And finally, uh, 708, why is Nikki not here? So that you could ask her about John Ham. Yeah, great question. Uh, Nikki's off at a wedding out of, out of state on a Sunday. So she's coming back now. So she'll be back tomorrow. Uh, and I don't know that John Ham would be that obscure. I think John Ham's probably top of a lot of lists, don't we think? Oh, totally. Definitely. And I yeah. think he hangs from the top all the way to the bottom, as we understand. Oh, so Depending nice. on how long the list Those gray is. Gray sweatpants. Yeah, make it longer. There you go. Those are your obscure crushes. From Chicago to your device, this is the Morning Mix Podcast. Hey, Alexa, open 101.9 The Mix. Got a couple of them. <laughs> now, that's a great thing to ask Alexa. You just tell her to do that, and then Alexa will open 101.9 The Mix. You can hear us. You can hear McCabe and Jenny in the afternoon. You can listen to our podcasts. All of it. It's right there for you. Yeah, and it's so easy. Kids get yeah. used to it. Like, I've watched kids grab their parents' uh, Apple Watches yeah. while it's on their wrist to play, like, Frozen. Like, play Frozen. Uh, mm-hmm. And then it's just like, it's crazy how they know how to do it. Yeah, my daughter thinks, she's four, Everly thinks that the watch is only used to set timers because oh. I use it when I'm cooking. Mm. So I'll be like, uh, hey, Siri, set a timer for six minutes so that I know to go flip the chicken or something. So my daughter will just grab my wrist and be like, Alexa or Siri, what, set a timer for three minutes. <laughs> just because she likes the sound it makes. Yeah. All right. Well, there's a little boy out there in Utah. He's a Utahite. Uh, he bought <laughs> $1,000 worth of toys on his dad's Alexa speaker. Hi, Larry. Good morning. Good morning. Larry, what did your kid buy on the smart speaker? Uh, he bought the ultimate fart package on Alexa. The ultimate fart package. Oh. Now, I assume that these are just like, um, hang on, sorry. Oh, my bad. These are like farting sound effects that come out of Alexa. Oh, yeah. Long ones, juicy ones, oh. bumpy ones. Um, <laughs> any description you can think of, the ultimate package has it. And what does the ultimate fart package set you back? I think it only sets you back about ten ninety nine. Okay. Ten ninety nine, And he knew exactly what he was doing? I don't know that. <laughs> I can't confirm or deny that the boy knew. Probably. Yeah, he got in the habit of just saying Alexa and then say words, and then somehow that's where we ended up. And would you like to purchase? And I guess he knew enough to say yes. <laughs> wow. How old was he at the time of the fart package purchase? He was about four or five at the time. Yeah, love okay. it. Love yeah. it. You got to yeah. love a good fart. So then it's literally, it just makes fart. So then you just say to her, make fart noises, and she does? Yeah, and then she'll suggest, would you like this type of fart? Would you like that type of fart? And then she'll play it. I love that. You're listening to the Morning Mix Podcast. This weekend, uh, we went to the uh, neighborhood house walk, and we thought this will be fun. They have a trolley. We got the kids to the trolley stop. Everything was hunky-dory. The trolley arrived. I put one foot on there, and my son screamed bloody murder Mm -hmm. for about a block. And then I said, I think we're done. And I just hopped off. Uh, we didn't need any sort of immersion therapy or anything like that. But you thought they were going to like, like it because it's basically yeah. like an easy ride yes. for a kid. I mean, kid love this. It's like getting yeah. on a train. It'll be fun. Mm-hmm. And he uh, he did not like it. Not today. And we thought, oh, he'll love this. And he hated it. Yeah. <laughs> Has this happened to you? You thought they're going to love it. Friends, family, whatever. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your grandkids, your, your kids. You thought, we're going to do this thing. And then they absolutely hated it. Hey, Trisha, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, my husband, who rarely plans outings, had a great idea to take the kids, this is a few years ago, to take the kids to the Air and Water Show practice on the Friday. Yeah, very popular. So we go on Friday, to, yeah. Yep, we got to, we, we decided to go to the zoo early, and we, there was three kids, I think they were between the ages of three and six, and a great time at the zoo, went to the Air and Water Show, they absolutely hated it. <laughs> they were more interested in the water bottles we bought them, and they beat the crap out of each other yeah. the entire time. We had to leave early. We got dirty looks from the old lady sitting next to us. Mm-hmm. It was a bust. Total bust at the air and water show. You thought, yeah. this will be it. This will be great. Yeah. They My hated- poor husband, who thought this was such a great idea, 
just, we left shaking. Yeah. Oh, man, what a bummer. They're like, yeah. you guys all came here to watch those little planes in the air? Yeah, what is the deal yeah. with this? Right, right, right. You fought traffic. You paid a ton for parking. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? They have no sense of that. Sometimes they don't know what's amazing. Like, right. it's not amazing to them. Like, right. They're they're just they, like, they just want to watch Bluey. Right. right. What are we doing? Hi, Jane. Good morning. Good morning. I love you guys. Oh, Good morning. Love you right back. Yeah. Uh, but your family yeah. didn't like this. What you guys? You had a big plan. No. What happened? We were at Disney World and we oh. waited two hours for the Buzz Lightyear ride. And all of a sudden, my daughter is like, I don't want to do on the ride. Oh, and, oh man. That's a yeah. good ride, too, right? You get the little laser gun. Is that yeah. the one, right? I know. I yeah. know. You know what we You'll never believe what we did. We pushed her through. To, we are like, you're going on this ride. Yeah. So we made her. So she just kept her eyes closed and just hovered down the whole time. Yeah. But we just, we could not, you know, we just were not going to miss that ride. Right. No, yeah. you waited two hours. We're all the way in Florida. Come on. Yeah. Oh, Isn't I love that it. crazy, the wait? Yeah. <laughs> the wait, it's, it's, I, I feel like your call is the perfect phone call for this, because I expected so many people to have a similar story to Yes. That, because you see the Disney commercials, and everybody's smiling, yeah, and they're arm hunky-dory. and arm, and it's the happiest place on earth. Yes. And you may get a moment like that or two in a given trip, but for the most part, it's much more what you just described. You know what's funny is we're currently in the planning phases. We're going to potentially do a Disneyland day. Yeah. Just a day in Disneyland. Disneyland, the one in California, a little smart, smaller. Smart. I think you're you're making the right okay, choice. Okay, that's what we're thinking. Yep. We're, and I was actually going to talk to you because I know you and the family did it yeah. like two months ago or whatever. It's much less spread out. Yeah. There's not as much of an expectation. Right. And uh, yeah, it's just more streamlined. I, I also feel like the kids are four and two. And if yeah. we need to bail, yeah. I'll, I'll feel, I'll still feel, I'll take a hit. It'll be a loss. Totally. But we could bail one day at Disneyland. Mm-hmm. Yep, you know what yep, I mean? Yep. Just go swim in the well, pool. And I remember as a kid, you get so excited to meet your favorite character. Yes. And then you almost don't know what to do with those emotions when you see them. Like, I wanted to see Mickey so bad. Yeah. And when I finally got the chance to see Mickey, my parents had to push me to take a picture. with. Like, I was crying. Yeah. I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. He's like my role model in life. <laughs> and now even like meeting oh, the kid, oh. and I don't know if it's always been like this, but like my my experience meeting the characters is like unbelievably difficult. Yeah. Like yes. you have to book times with them and all this sort of stuff and wait in huge long lines. It's not just like they're wandering around and it's right. like some one on one time. And I mean, they are wandering around, but those are few and far between. But even when they're wandering, they don't, you can't run up. What? You well, just, no, exactly. You're yeah. like, why do you keep exactly. my distance? Yeah. We got a text here. My parents took my sister and I to the Grand Canyon. They thought we would be amazed. We were teenagers. We walked up and said, geez, guys, we could have just gone to the Thornton Quarry. Oh, my. <laughs> My God, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's pretty solid. Uh, let's see. We also have uh, folks that were taken to the shed aquarium, and boy, was that a letdown! Oh, I took my grandma yeah. there, and she's like, "So we're just looking at fish in the water." That's what we're doing, and I'm like, "Yeah, yeah that's it. That's, 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 that's it, lady." Yeah, six three zero. I bought Ed Sheeran tickets for my partner for Christmas. Big gift. Thought he'd be all excited. He saw the tickets and got very disappointed when they weren't for a Bulls game. <laughs> oh. I thought you'd love this. Oh. No, it's Ed Sheeran. Oh. I thought we were going to a Bulls game. Okay. Well, I, probably less, less expensive. Yeah, I guess you go gotta, to a Bulls game. You know your audience on yeah, that I one, guess I so. guess. Ooh. From Chicago to your device, this is the Morning Mix Podcast. Today is National Hot Cross Buns Day, uh, and we lean towards the song Hot Cross Buns. I don't know if it's the food, because <laughs> a hot cross bun is a, it's is a, a food. Yeah. Is Isn't it a it? pancake? I thought it was a pancake. Oh, As a I don't kid, know. I thought it was like pancakes getting stacked, like each. Oh, page I thought of it the... was like more like a cinnamon roll. But what do I know? Yeah, oh. I'm picturing a biscuit, but oh, I really my. don't know. Dear God, no I really knows. have no idea. Uh, let's find out. We'll have to ask a music teacher. Hi, Kelsey. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. You're a music teacher. I am. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> do you teach in a school or do you teach privately? Uh, I teach in an elementary school, uh, so kindergarten through sixth grade. Amazing. Do you want to shout out the elementary school? Um, Yeah, I work at Lakeview Elementary School. Lakeview Elementary School. Beautiful. Okay. And you teach K through five, you said? Uh, Kindergarten through six. K through six. Great. And how long have you been uh, a music teacher? Uh, This is my sixth year. Okay, great. All right, you got the experience, and this is great. So we thought today, given that it is 
National Hot Cross Buns Day, we would ask a music teacher. If you have a question for a music teacher, text it to us at 312-233-1019. I'll get us started. My question to you, Kelsey, is why do we start with the recorder? It seems to be the go-to beginner thing. Why is it the recorder? So that's a great question. Um, (laughs) So (laughs) what I was taught when I was in music school and like what I understand now, um, I teach a couple of different things like in my room. I teach recorder, I teach ukulele, and then I have all my different percussion instruments. That way, by the time that they leave my room, or if they move on to do band or orchestra, they have tried all of the different instruments, right? Oh. They've tried a woodwind instrument. Um, they've tried the, the recorder. Um, they've tried a string instrument, which would be the ukulele. And then they've tried all of the different percussion instruments in the room, too. So, like, the woodwind instrument, the recorder is pretty, like, you can be pretty successful on that one. Got where, it. like, you were explaining, like, the saxophone earlier, like, that's pretty difficult. It has a read on it. Recorder, you can just, like, blow into, and, like, it's not necessarily going to be a great sound, but you're going to make a sound the first time. Okay, um, so, yeah, that's where you start with that. Now, whip? Yeah. I mean, do you ever see a kid who you're just like, I know this is a class, and I know we're kind of a team here, but, man, this kid is a prodigy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to go the other way. No, in the good way. (laughs) Have you had a prodigy? Yeah. Um, All the time where there's the kids that stand out, like, even as young as, like, kindergarten, first grade, where I'm like, oh, my God, there is, like, they have something special where I'm like, they need to continue with this. And that's when I kind of, like, uh, step in and start talking to some families and I'm going, Hey, do you like, what do you do at home? Do you listen to music at home? Do you guys make music at home? Um, are you able to do like lessons outside? Sometimes that's not an option just like for financial reasons. Um, but like, there are definitely things that you can do at home that like help like continue that like learning process. But Oh yeah, definitely as young as five, I've seen some kids where I'm like, that that kid is going to grow up Unbelievable. and they've got to tell it. Yeah, that's awesome. On the opposite end of the spectrum, <laughs> how many excuses have you heard on like why they can't play, why they're not practicing? Like I used to say like my fingers, like my pinky couldn't reach that last like little thing on the recorder. And I'm like, I there's no way I can pass this music test because my finger can't reach yeah, it. Yeah, just give me an A. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite one, uh, because usually, like, when it comes to the recorders, uh, I have them keep them in my classroom um, until, like, our last couple weeks where I'm like, you can bring them home to practice if you want. Otherwise, you can keep them in here so I don't force the practice outside. But, like, some of them try to, like, not play with me. My favorite one is like, oh, it's all twisted up. I can't do it (laughs) until I walk over and, like, realign it for them. And they go, oh, no, I didn't Uh. know it could do that. (laughs) So uh, this is bringing back a flood of memories. When I finally gave up the trombone because I had a bad episode on stage where nothing happened and I was trying to play. So I'm like, I'm done. I quit the band and our band teacher at St. Celestine, whose name was Mr. Bad Sing. Can't, no can't, way. Can't yeah. make it up. <laughs> right That's true. That. He told me when he was trying to get me to stay, you've got a great ear for music. My question is, is that the kind of thing that you tell every kid, mm. even when they're not great, almost like if you just applied yourself, yeah. like they say to kids who aren't doing well in other classes? No, because my <laughs> thing <laughs> All right, I got a great yeah. ear for music, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't see a point in, like, lying. If there's a student that really does not want to do it, why are you forcing them to do it? Sure. That's my thing. Yeah, yeah I get so, that. Like, you're just going to make them miserable. And that, like, that's my philosophy on it is, like, maybe later in life they're going to go and want to pursue it again later. And so, like, all it, like, force you and saying, oh, no, wait, don't do that. You're, like, you're so good at this. You've got the ear for it. No, like you're just going to, they're going to be sitting there going, no, I really hate this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah totally. I get that. I not like it. Yeah, if there's yeah. no passion, it's going to be difficult. Sure. Well, Kelsey, you've been phenomenal. You are a music teacher at Lakeview Elementary, K through six. One last question for you that came in from a 630 here. Uh, hi, Kelsey. Sure. Have you ever had a hard time holding back laughter as a child was struggling through any kind of solo? <laughs> Uh, through any kind of solo or any performance uh, at all <laughs> through performances and stuff no i was gonna say because i've been there done that not necessarily um but there are so many moments in my room with just i think just 
any teacher can relate to with things that they say or things that they do outside of that. But musically wise, I can't really, one doesn't necessarily stand out to me yet. Okay. Um, I think it, I'm like, I'm only year six, so I think that one is yet to happen. I have to, there's still time to come, time <laughs> oh, to come. Yes. Well, Kelsey, we appreciate your time. And, you know, we love teachers around here. Oh, yeah. So much so, Kelsey, that we have uh, this new, I don't know if you've heard about it, it's a, it's a morning mix, custom, limited edition football. Have you heard about this, Kelsey? No, I haven't. Yeah, it's, it's we call it the game ball. The first ever awarded morning mix game ball goes to Kelsey, the music teacher. Uh, History Aww. has been made. Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much. You bet. You're listening to the Morning Mix Podcast. Being lazy. There's a contest right now happening. In Montenegro. In, that's exactly right. In Montenegro, where people are vying for the title of laziest citizen. They're lying down on mats. There are tw- they're going to do it for 20 straight days. They are now above 20 straight days, and they're determined to keep it going. There are contestants where every eight hours they get a 10-minute bathroom break. If you sit up, it's a violation and you're out. If you stand up, you're out. Don't even bother. The lazy stereotype, they say, can be traced back to cultural references throughout all of our societies. Yeah, so I think they're trying to fly in the face because someone called them a lazy country, and they're, like, right. they're like rolling with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, they can't roll. They'd be eliminated, but well, yes. That's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> How lazy are you? What up, Jasmine? Good morning. Good morning, guys. Jasmine, it's not you. It's your daughter. She's lazy. Why? Uh, so our uh, our subdivision, the bus comes literally the next house over. So I drive her to the bus stop, and I wait five minutes until the bus comes. No. <laughs> so you back out of your driveway. You drive maybe 50 <laughs> or 80 feet, and you wait. We wait. And I think, you know, it makes me lazy as well because I don't want to stand right there either. It's like, we can just sit in the car and wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so they sit in the car, they listen to the morning mix, and they wait. I like that. Okay. Hey, Dwayne, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Good, man. Uh, why are you the laziest person we know? Uh, so a few years ago, I started to figure out that I could just get dressed for the next day, the night before. No. Uh, so I could uh, get my, so- my socks pants, underwear, shirt on, and go to sleep. And that'll give me an extra, you know, 10, 15 minutes in the morning uh, to avoid having to get ready. Wow. So what time do you wake up that you need those 10, 15 minutes? Like, is it early? So so I started when I was a teacher. Okay. And so I would wake up at like 530 in the morning. Okay. So I was just trying to think of like ways to give me extra time in bed. Jasmine hung up. She knew right away. She's like, this guy's lazy as hell. Now, Dwayne, now you're, are you a teacher still or you have a different job now? No, now now I'm a real estate agent. Okay, so <laughs> so you've got like an early morning showing, let's say. You're going to put on like, what are you putting on? Like jeans and a nice shirt? Or are you putting on khakis? Like, what are we going to sleep in? Okay, so usually there's not like early morning showing. But, like, if I do have to wear, like, nice clothes the next day, I won't wear, like, a pressed shirt, you know? Like, right. I'll wear everything else. I'll just leave the shirt off, and then I get up. <laughs> Pants are a little wrinkly. It's not that big a deal. Nobody yeah. really cares about yeah, that. Yeah, they're not Who's looking down, down there. Yeah, Nobody. come on. Oh, I love that. <laughs> now, your signs should be, like, wrinkled reality. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, testing one, two, one, two. Sound check. Sound check. This is Nikki's Chris's. sound check on the morning mix. And we start with... Jonas Brothers. You know, every Tuesday and Thursday, we're qualifying to send you off to Brooklyn to see the Jonas Brothers as they wrap up that U.S. tour. Five albums one night at the Barclays Center on December 9th. You're also going to win an extra thousand bucks. And that might be something that Joe and his soon-to-be ex-wife, Sophie Turner, are arguing over. Who will get the thousand dollars? Yeah, maybe. Well, Joe broke his silence. They performed in Dodger Stadium over the weekend, and he grabbed the mic during a song Uh, in between. There was a little bit of a quiet moment, and Joe... Let the audience know this. If you don't hear it from these lips, don't believe it, okay? Mm. Thank you, everyone, for the love and support. So me and my family love you guys. What he said was, if you don't hear it from these lips, don't believe it. That's so. nice because there's been a lot of rumors back and forth mm-hmm. about mostly her. To yeah, be like what did they catch on the ring camera? What did she say? Is right. she drinky? We don't know. Yeah, about the kids getting involved. And again, right. I mean, he's saying, you know, these are all just tabloids. Don't believe right. them. 
I really respect that he's sort of stepping up and being like, hey, gang, we don't need to crap talk everybody. Let's just let us do our thing and we'll move on in our let lives and that'll be fine. Let the lawyers crap talk there behind we go. the scenes. That's what they're for. Right. Let them file injunctions That's and such. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Boy, now we go from uh, a soon-to-be Joe Jonas ex to a former Joe Jonas ex. You heard of this gal, Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. No. Taylor Swift. Yeah, Taylor Swift. You know, Taylor's got her new movie, The Heiress Tour, coming to AMC Theaters in October. October 13th is the premiere date, and then it'll be in theaters currently into November, but potentially longer. It's at AMC Theaters exclusively. They've paid for the rights. Well, Taylor and this movie have disrupted the film industry. Yes. Everything she touches disrupts. It is unbelievable. There are so many movies coming out that are trying to avoid Taylor that five different (laughs) films have now moved release dates up or down to avoid the weekend that Taylor Swift is taking over AMC theaters. The movie Dumb Money, which is about the GameStop uh, stock thing that went down. The Exorcist Believer, they're uh, they're delaying that one because they don't want to compete with Taylor. Even at Halloween time, they said, yeah, we're not going to do it. We'll come out early because we don't want to. We'll get the heck out of her way. That's fine. Yeah. Also, the Persian version. Yep, that's right. Get ready for the Persian version. Okay. Don't know. Version like uh, version one, two, three. Not virgin like uh, Madonna was like one. (laughs) And what happens later? Meg Ryan's upcoming rom-com. They're delaying that one as well. Also, uh, a Christian movie called Ordinary Angels. Okay. As this says, even Jesus is afraid of Taylor Swift, according to this article. (laughs) She's holy. This article. Watch out. Oh, man. All of those movies are delaying because of Taylor's Eras Tour, the movie coming to theaters October 13th, AMC exclusive. And finally, Olivia Rodrigo dropped her new album, Guts. Mm-hmm. And fans were surprised on the vinyl album to find four hidden tracks. Holy cow. Four hidden tracks. She learned from the best. Taylor does that. Exactly yeah. right. Four limited edition versions of Guts on vinyl are available at her website. There's a red, a white, a blue, and a purple version. And each color has a different hidden song. So if you love Olivia Rodrigo, you got to buy all four vinyl versions of her album. That's Red, white, straight blue, out of the Taylor playbook right um, there. Uh, yeah, that's except true. for Taylor did the same album, different album covers to <laughs> right. make a clock. And right. they still bought them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They say the four tracks are only on the vinyl. You can't get them on streaming anywhere. Oh. And we don't even have one here for you now. Watch out. But they'll be on YouTube. Oh, before you know it. Or the talk. Or the tickle. Yeah. So get ready. (laughs) They're all coming. The Morning Mix Flash Briefing with Violetta. So the mystery surrounding Rihanna and ASAP Rocky's second child's name finally revealed. I know you guys have been waiting for this. What is the name? Well, tell us, Bill. Tell us ASAP. (laughs) So the couple uh, named their baby boy Riot Rose Myers. Riot. Riot. Riot fast. Riot. Yep. Uh, that's what the birth, certi- birth certificate said. And their first kid's name is uh, Riza. A lot of R's going well, on. Well, it's, it's gotta be R-Z-A. An R-Z-A. I don't really know actually oh. how to say it. But oh. that like was a while ago. the Riza? Who already exists? Yeah. From Wu-Tang? Maybe. I'll say this much. You ever think like... Will you be the first human ever to name your kid that thing? Sure. Like, yeah. is there another human on the face of the earth mm-hmm. named Riot? Because I've right. never heard of one. Right. I'm not saying there isn't, but interesting. Wow. Riot Rose Myers. There you have it. Loving it. Next up, uh, first comes love, then comes marriage, and then, then comes, comes a, a baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right now, Chris Evans has the love, and he's officially off the market because now he is married to Alba Baptista. Uh, it was an intimate at-home wedding in Massachusetts at the house they both own. Wicked uh, wedding. Wicked. Totally. And uh, she's a Portuguese Portuguese actress. She's 26. He's 42. They started dating in November of 2022. Um, and now I guess they're married. Wow, look Pretty at that. Pretty soon. That's not even a year ago, though, that they started dating. Right? I know. Well, worth it, yeah. uh, she invited her friends and family. He invited Marvel co-stars <laughs> uh, oh, nice. Robert John- <laughs> Downey, Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, and Jeremy Renner. You got a good gift. From Downey, oh, I bet. You know, you gotta, that's a gift invite. Yeah. For sure. And we've already been covering the football games over the weekend, but there was also a lot of buzz about tennis. Oh, yeah. uh, the U.S. Open was happening in New York. The big names from there, definitely 19-year-old Coco Goff's win. It was her first U.S. Open win, and they're calling her the next Serena. She's the youngest winner ever now for the U.S. Open. Last time that happened was Serena Williams uh, in 1995, I think. 
Okay. Okay. So impressive. Um, very impressive. And then our friend from Serbia, Novak Djokovic. That's him. Yeah. He uh, says his name probably better, but he also won his 24th Grand Slam. That is a historic win for him wow. over... A Russian. Who was that again? What was his name? Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic. And he had a Denny's Grand Slam? Yeah. Wow. Good for him. I don't know what that really means. Really tasting America. <laughs> he, he's into it, man. He does yeah, the Beastie so. Boys thing, all of it. He doesn't stop. Yep. So that's your flash briefing. Loving it. All right. Thank you for joining us for the Morning Mix podcast. Make sure you rate, review, like, and follow this podcast. You can also follow us on social at 1019 Mix Chicago. And we will see you tomorrow on the Morning Mix.